So have you ever been in a position where you're getting ready to go out, you're getting ready to have a great night with your boys, but while you are getting dressed, while you're getting ready, you're showering, putting the cologne on, getting your hair right, combing, you know, while you're getting ready, you realize you can't wait to see the bitches. You can't wait to go out and flex what you got on, your chain, your shirt, your new shirt you got from Zara, you know, your, your legs looking swollen, the jean shorts, you know. You can't wait to show off what you got for the bitches. Now, of course, granted, hopefully you're not showing off to niggas. <laughs> be a little suspect. But your mind is obsessed with women. <laughs> your mind is obsessed with women. So the premise of this video, being obsessed with women is going to postpone and delay your success. Yes. I'm sure you've heard the quote. When you chase women, you lose money. But when you chase the money, you'll always get it back in return. You'll get more money. And then, when you chase money, the girls come. Hmm. Put that in the trash. This is what we're going to say 2024 and beyond, okay? When you... Take care of your necessities. The necessities of nature will take care of you. When you take care of the necessities of nature, the nature of those necessities will take care of you forever, for life. That's a stamp. That's a guarantee. No cash back, no money returned. That's a 100% guarantee. Now, to all my fellas out there who have felt themselves being absolutely obsessed with going out, partying, drinking, getting the new, getting the new clothes, getting the new drip, all for the hoes, unless you are making money off of that mindset, you're doing it so wrong. And it is delaying your success more than you know. Because success is your own definition. You come up with your image, your idea of success. It is nobody else's. Whatever you see, you know, you go on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and you see these, these, these 18, 19, 21, 25 years young dudes, you know, doing e-commerce and, and making a course, getting a whole lot of bots. How can you get on a monetization program, on, on, a, on a YouTube partner program in under, in under two weeks? Like it's an overnight process. It's called bots. They pay it for it's a bot thing. So they're getting you induced with the image of being 18, 19, 20 and making $50,000 a month right when you start off of Amazon drop shipping, being a YouTuber, being a streamer, being a recent. What? Who work like that? So success is your own definition. Don't look at their depictions of success. It's one's own definition of accomplishment of goals, okay? And you're putting that on bitches? Not women. You put that on bitches? You put that on grown-ass girls who go out for a living and seek for other dudes' attention and validation? You go to a club and you ask a chick, Instead of you buying her a drink, buy her some time. You know, love to run their mouth. Love to buy, buy them some time. Ask them two questions. Ask them, listen, what does your day-to-day -day look like? Okay? They say, I love going to Starbucks. I love going to the gym. Lie. I love, I love shopping in my day. I love going to Target and doing Target runs. Right? She got her whole, she loved cooking, she does, whatever. And the second question you ask her is, what do you prioritize in your life? You heard all that, cool, cool. Most likely she capping because she's giving you a societal, a societal brand of what it is to be a young girl, what it is to be a good girl. She's giving you that definition, not the actual, her actual way of life, right? She sits on her fucking bed 
or her couch and she binge watch movies and she scrolls on TikTok while she's watching the movies. So anyway, that being her day to day, you want to be around that? You want to be induced by something like that? Even if she looks so good. And I know a lot of y'all get induced by the fact that she is a 10. She's a dime. She a nine. She looks so damn good. But she's a bird. Y'all see these clouds behind me? Yeah. That's how the bitch at the club talk. And look. You see X in the back? You see that? See that poster? Yeah. Still. Like the fucking wall. You would be better talking to the poster rather than going to the club and talking. To... Yeah, she look good, right? You can't have a conflict. You cannot build with her. You can't build with her. So here's what I'm saying. The more you put your attention and your succession on girls, on these grown ass girls, on these grown ass bitches, Purposeless. Purposeless. That, that's all I can say. You are now purposeless. Let me give you all a quick story. You know, my, my boy, one of my boys, he said to me, JB, I know three dudes right now. I just came back from the beach. I know three dudes right now who has tens and nines on a string. Call them up 7 a.m., 7 p.m. Come here. I need you to do this. I just... But it's treating the threes, the pennies, and the nickels like a dime piece. A.K.A. They hitting everything. They, they bucking everything down. And there is nothing worse than a desperate, horny, just, just no boundaries man. Just an aimless walking man. Who just want to fuck anything? But he was like, JB, these three dudes, they'll knock anything down. And they do it. Like, I, I don't know how they do it. You know, if I were to do that, I would, you know, I wouldn't have the same success rate like they do. Yeah, because the same the same rule book, rule book that they play on, you can't. It's not your play style at all. And he knows that. Same way you know that. It's not your place now. It's not your body. Stop it. Set it down. <laughs> but what I'm getting at is there are dudes out here that will literally put all these bitches, whether it be a nine, a ten, a three, a four, a nickel, a seven, they will put them on a pedestal. And they will chalk it up to, I fuck bitches. I got game. I'm doing my thing. I knock shit down. They want to have a high body count. That sounds so morbid. That sounds like something in the mortuary, like having a high body count. Like a worker at the mortuary or like a haunted house, see how many see, see how many scares they can get. Oh, yeah, I got, I got 1,500 scares tonight. Yeah, I got 900 bodies. Yeah, I got about 800 bodies. You know, it's, 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 it's Friday. But when Saturday come, oh, yeah, I'm... That sounds morbid, right? But being able to pedestalize your success, your journey, and your mission, man, because you can't fake the funk. You do not know how to fake the funk. You know how to turn your brain off. You know how to have a good time. But trust me when I say, there is nothing greater than aligning with people on your frequency or, be, or above, slightly below, around your wavelength, around your frequency, and building with one another. When you know how to combine with energies like that, and you know how to make independent thinkers and independent learners have a, a synergistic and interpersonal relationship while communicating that, oh my goodness. You're a genius. However you got these people together and in alignment, you are a genius. Or everybody, y'all are geniuses. 
You can't do that with these bitches. You can't do that with these straggling at. And yeah, I look good. I got the mo- tall black, you know. I'm not paying them no money. I laugh at them. Not with, at. Not because I'm better and I always want to drag my nuts. No. <laughs> we are headed somewhere and we know where we're going with no Siri, with no map, no compass. We got the blueprint ingrained in our brain. We know where we're going. You bitches don't. And you pedestalizing that? Come on, G. Come on, bro. So get it together. Being obsessed with these grown-ass girls, y'all, is only going to get you in trouble. That's the only place it's going to lead. They going to cheat on you. You going to cheat on them. It's going to be toxic. Somebody going to get called the cops on. Somebody going to jail. And God forbid, God forbid, you get one of them pregnant. That's a GG. That's a GG, mate. So take care of your life. Take care of your blueprint. Take care of your intellectual property. That's all you got in this time. Use it. Never misuse it.